In this video, I will show you how to turn in a photograph of an artwork with a Chromebook. When you're finished with your artwork, you're going to want to find a well-lit area to take a photo of it. We're going to launch the camera. You can click the launcher button. It looks like a little magnifying glass on the left side of the keyboard or on the screen itself on the bottom left side we're going to click the launcher and then right here i'm going to start to type in the word camera and that's going to let me open up the camera here are two example photographs of my artwork which one do you think i want you to turn in is it my duck face selfie or the photo that just shows the art that's right, you guessed it. I don't want the selfies. What I'm looking for you to turn in is a nice, clear photo where your artwork is the center of attention. That is by holding it up and trying to center it as best as possible. But if your camera can flip around, here is an example of how to photograph your art. Set your artwork down on a flat surface and hold your Chromebook over the artwork. Try to center it and line it up before snapping the photo. Once I've taken the photo, I'm going to close the camera. So try not to get yourself in the photo. Um, if you did, or if you have some distracting stuff in the background, that's okay, because we're actually going to crop, and if needed, we will rotate our photos. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the launcher again. And this time, I'm going to go to Files. I'm going to need to select downloads it's right here under my files and then from the downloads i should be able to see any of the pictures that i took on my chromebook so it's this most recent one here i'm gonna double click it to open it all right so there's my picture it's pretty clear there's not much distracting in the background but it is sideways and there is still some of the side of the desk here. So I'm going to click the edit button. It looks like a little pencil. And once I click edit, I want to rotate it. So let's see, I'm going to rotate it. So it is going the right direction. And I'm going to click this tool right here to crop it. And when I crop it, my goal is to show just the artwork and not any of the background. I don't, however, want to cut any of the artwork off. I want to show the full artwork. And it might be kind of crooked. It may not be perfect. But try to crop it close, as close as you can without losing any. All right, so... I'm going to hit done to save my crop. But one last thing I want to do while I'm in here, I want to rename my file because IMG 2028101329 not the easiest thing to remember. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put my name. And I'm going to put the name of the assignment. All right, so it will automatically save, and I'm going to go ahead and click exit. So now you can see as I exited from editing, here's my file name, Christine Malin Zentangle. Here's my picture, cropped nicely, no distractions in the background. Now I'm going to go to my Google Classroom. I'm going to find that assignment. And I'm going to click Add or Create. 
and I'm going to choose to attach a file. Because my file is not already on my Google Drive, I'm going to have to go to the Upload tab, and then I will browse and find my file. So the fact that I renamed it is going to make it a lot easier to find. And click my file and click Open. Now you'll see here, Christine Malin's Untangle. I can even click it, open it up, and make sure that's the right picture. It is. And don't forget to hit Turn In. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to submit it? And you're going to click Turn In again. And now your file is turned in.